First ball Hello. in the Castle Challenge Series. Carl Mills and uh, Vossi Sabanda happy to just let that one go. Yeah, we saw the pitch report. It does look like a good wicket. There's a big shot there, and he's given him. So uh, the pressure's paid off. Zimbabwe have been very watchful, and Bracewell has found the out up his first international wicket. And just as you said that, he's pitched one up and he's cleaned up Hamilton Masakadza. A really good over and a great start for New Zealand. And that's a positive shot there from Chamu Chibaba. A little bit of width, a little bit fuller than we've seen from Carl Mills. And he didn't quite get all of it, but he got enough and four more. And that is a top class delivery there from Bracewell. He is really having a good day here in his first one day international. In the air, what a great catch. One handed, stretching as far as he could, palmed it up, and then uh, coming down onto the ground. Width and smashed to the boundary. The uh, backward point fielder had no chance. Gentle loosener outside off stump, too short. And with again, this one's found the gap. So much better from Brendan Taylor on this occasion. He doesn't miss out and that'll run away for four as well. Good cut shot. Shot and pulled away. One bounce and a trickle onto the fence. Foster Mutizwa. Oh, inside edge. And they need a little bit of luck to Zimbabwe. It's never nice to see as a bowler. But uh, you'll take them wherever they come. So. The issue they've got is uh, someone's going to have to get a big score in the air, but uh, well judged by Brendan Taylor. Didn't try overhit it. The mid off is up, just using his feet and uh, nudging it down the ground. Good shot from Taylor. <laughs> and he'll get to a very well deserved half. Well played under extreme pressure. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Terrific innings, Brendan Taylor. 31 gone, 102 for four. This time down the ground, there's a man back there and they're sticking him, has he? He's dropped it, it's gone over, it's six. And this time he's gone for it again. He mishit the one, the last over and was lucky to get away with it. But this time he's got all of it and six more. Here's a big shot over the top. I don't know if he's got all of it, but uh, he's got enough. Couple of bounces and uh, over the rope. So good shot from Mtizwa. Very watchful the first two, and then... That's a boundary for Brennan Taylor. Not a very good delivery. Well, and Taylor helping it along the leg side. Happy with it. So the bulk of uh, the scoring is going to have to be done by these two. And across his stumps this time, Brendan Taylor. Another off-cutter from Bracewell. And gets it down to the fine leg boundary for a, another four. It's up in the air, but he's going to get through for the single. It brings him his half century. He's got his field uh, set fairly square, Nathan McCullum, and that's why they're both trying to target that gap at mid wicket. And this time he gets all of it. Fraction of width and length offered from McCullum. It was slower as well. And down the leg side, and that'll go for four. That's very nice indeed. It is short, it is down the leg side. And uh, up comes the 150 partnership between these two. Oh, it's a very nice shot. That's going to go for four. Beautifully played. Clever little lap shot. And uh, that was very, very nicely played as well. And that shot now breaks any partnership against, Zimba against New Zealand for Zimbabwe. And he's got a thin outside edge to a wide, wide delivery. And a sad end to what had been a really good innings for Fostom Tizwa. That's over the top and it's gone for six, no, four runs. Four runs beautifully struck by Alton Chikambura. Yeah. Well, there you have it. He's bowled really well to Alton Chikambura. And Alton has not been able to find his footwork against Mackay. And he's just guided one easily to the keeper. That'll do it. To the leg side, Brendan and comes back for two and a fantastic hundred for the captain came in under pressure and has led from the front his fifth one day international
hundred and his first versus New Zealand prediction and what we've said full toss Brendan Taylor he's uh, picked that up you said seeing it like a pumpkin let me tell it's going big over mid wicket and that's gone for six as well so Taylor cashing in here at the death first three balls of uh, Bracewell's over have gone six two six he's gone again has he got all of this yes he has six more Brendan Taylor length from Bracewell and uh, after a fantastic start this morning picking up three early wickets Bracewell is being punished he's only been uh, three singles and the last delivery should be two and is a fantastic bowling from Carl Mills to finish the innings five runs from it and uh, Zimbabwe 50 overs up they finish 231 for six well we're ready to go and Puffo to bowl the first ball from the city end on a length straight away just back of a length comfortably negotiated that's through the covers there was a bit of swing again but not full enough from Jarvis and he'll pay the price with a boundary oh what a shot that time was pitched up but too full and a lovely on drive it's one of the hardest shots to play in the book and he's done it with a plum two overs gone 19 for none down the wicket and lobs it over mid on for four easy as you like from Rob Nickel yeah that's gonna whistle away for four two straight from Jarvis and I don't know whether he's uh, trying to get too greedy and uh, trying to bowl the magic ball and this one's gone fine Tybu is quick but he's not gonna stop that so uh, if your bowlers can't bowl the balls in the right areas then uh, that's what's gonna happen way too straight he's got a fine leg up and a man back on the square leg boundary well three quarters and that is bread and butter at this level for me that's where Zimbabwe is going wrong pull shot Chamuchibaba won't get there so too short from him Pofu and at that pace unless you're gonna get it nice and high you're gonna fetch it magnificent shot by Guptul on the up just stood tall and smashed it through the covers for four more edge for That's two full and a beautiful response there from Martin Capital. And that's a good response from Martin Capital. <laughs> He's hit that as clean as you like. Straight over mid off for six more. Oh, no. Misfield. So that'll bring up his 50. Well played by Guptil again in his third innings here in Zimbabwe. Yet to fail. His 12th one day international 50 wickets. So far on the whole tour, it hasn't been possible. That's gone nice and fine. And again, Zimbabwean bowlers been guilty of being too wayward. Uh, that's 50 for Rob Nickel, Nickel, and how well he's played. It's his debut, and uh, he's come out to open the batting. He's batted with maturity, but surety as well. gone over the top this time so he has brought the men up and uh, Nickel not uh, scared to hit it over the top at the moment they're running away with it New Zealand oh it's massive it's quite a big boundary out there over mid wicket and uh, he got himself into a really good position did Martin Guptill the squad and not playing today obviously it's up in the air and he's missing it you're right he was trying to take it on Jarvis who's had a poor day thus far manages to pouch it and he's having none of it. First ball, run down, smash for. He's a dangerous player, Brendan McCullum. Once again, Kyle Joff is trying onto the pads and Rob Nicole just helping it on its way for an easy boundary, easy pickings there for Rob Nicole. Well, he kind of likes it on that leg stump and Kyle Jarvis hasn't learnt. And Rob Nicole's helping himself to some easy boundaries. He's not going to do it in singles. One bounce, four. Just quick, nimble feet down the wicket. Four more. 
Raymond Price continuing and uh, Nickel helps himself to a boundary over mid wicket. Well, that's typical McCullum. He's not going to hang about. He knows one way to play. And the field's up, and Nickel goes over the top, high and handsome, over mid wicket. And that is a magnificent innings and a well deserved 100 for Rob Nickel. And what a way to bring it up. And Pofu just on his legs, and he got picked up. In the field. <laughs> there it is this time, and Rob Nickel fittingly finishes the game. So New Zealand have won the first one day international by nine wickets with Rob Nicol 108 not out on debut. Also great contribution from Martin Guptill.